Jason, uh, Townsville to Melbourne. Well, that's that's a bit of a, a temperature shock as much as anything else, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. we um gone from sweating to actually being able to wear our hoodies around the place, to be honest. But um, it still has the potential to heat up, I think, by Friday night. Mm, OK, well, look, uh, that game against the Reds, how do you assess it in the end? Were we that good? Were they not as good? Uh, look, I suppose it's, it's it's tough to tough to get a read on the Reds, but uh, you know we were just really happy with where we got to by you know once we got into the game, you know we're a little bit sloppy early in the game and hence going down, but um, we're really happy with how we executed and really put them to the sword um, through that second half. So yeah, lots of lots we're really happy with, but and under no illusions that we'll, we we need to keep getting better. Well, I mean, you know, it is the oldest cliche. It's a game of two halves. That second forty minutes though was really impressive. Yeah, it was. We sort of had a plan for a few weeks around how we were going to approach the game up in Townsville around around our, our side and our bench and and the impact we would need. And, and I think um, first half we did a lot of a lot of hard work to start to wear the Reds down, and the second half boys definitely brought the uh, you know the speed and the power that um, we thought would would you know, flush them off. So that's exactly how it turned out. So yeah, I think everybody did their job. You know, the guys in the first half really got through some graft and allowed the boys in the second half to. Jason Holland, Hurricanes coach with us. Also impressive as well, just you know the finishing power in terms of the fitness and the actual preparation done in the pre-season. Did you, th- were you expecting that? Yeah, look, um, we've had a really good pre-season. It's, it's different to the pre-season we've had over the last couple of years with COVID, and um, you know having good seven weeks post Christmas has, has given the boys every opportunity to be in great nick, and then they are so. Uh, yeah, uh, by the same token, in the heat, some boys are cramping and that sort of thing. So we've got to keep keep working at being better and uh, making sure that we do finish games out stronger than anybody else. So, uh, yeah, good start in that regard. Jason, do you take much you know, I mean, notice of or that interest in how many points you score? Are you more kind of philosophical and you're looking at different things, how we play, how we, how we compete, and also just the sheer structure of the game that we put in place? Yeah, it's it's a good question because we've um, we're desperate to keep our identity as Hurricanes and the way we play, and that we want to be able to play good footy that's great, great good to watch. Um, what we've worked really hard at is trying to get the balance between being able to do that, play some good footy, um, you know, throw the ball around, but make sure that we're winning big games and winning consistently. So the balance we had there on the week on the weekend around a set piece was nice and dominant, which was gave us a great platform to do what we wanted. Um, and, you know, for the most part of the game, we managed the game well and played the game in the right areas, which was, was really satisfying. So, yeah, we, we, we're always looking to score lots of points. But, um, yeah, the game management and, and how we keep the pressure off us and on opposition is something we're really focusing on as a group. I was, going to, I was going to ask or say, look, you don't really know how good you are or how well you can play until you actually start, you know, a, you know, a proper competition game. But I mean, you've seen this team right throughout the preseason. You've seen the, you know, the, the time that you put in in terms of the preparation and that. So, did anything surprise you? No, not at all. I, my have got every confidence in this group, and they've sort of been together for a while now. You know, and we've got a couple of young boys who are definitely making an impact on us. But this group's been together for a long time, and um, you know, we keep working at, at what we do and how our weeks go. And, and the boys are really leading the group really well. We've got. A lot of boys who were youngsters who are now third and fourth year super players who, you know, are starting to lead in their own way. So, but I'm, I'm yeah, well, we're in a good, good, good space as far as the group and everyone's competing really hard to want to be on the field. So it's a, it's a healthy place to be. How, how, how have you prepared or looked at say the first four games of the season? Given the fact that that we, I mean, I'm a Hurricanes fan from way back from '96, of course, but you know that we're playing three of the Australian sides out of the first four games. What kind of adjustment do you make specifically for that, or don't you? Do you just look at every side and say, okay, we play this side, or because they're Aussie sides, you do look at it different? Yeah, the only real thing we looked at um, around the, I suppose, the first eight weeks, because we play eight games and then we have a bye, is how we make sure we've got our All Black rest sorted. So that's the only real big thing we talked around, around how our system, our season structured. But yeah, mate, look, we've had this trip to Aussie. We've known it's our starting thing. We got to Townsville and back to Melbourne for this week, and that's all that, that's been our focus, you know, making sure that we play well and, and get what we want out of the out of the two weeks over here. And and uh, come come Saturday, um, 
we'll switch our attention to, to what's coming in, in the Blues and the Waratahs in the coming weeks at home, which is pretty special to us to get home, especially you know if we can um, you know put some smiles on faces, especially some of the people in our in our region who have been through cyclones and are from the Bay and gives you an East Coast and that we're pretty pretty driven to get home and, and play at home in front of our fans there. And, and help out in some way. Yeah, nice thoughts, mate, because it's heaving down again up the East Coast today. It's just, you know, as soon as you hear that and hear the forecast, yeah, you, uh, yeah, you do. I mean, everyone's thinking the same thing. Come on, please, give it a rest. Let them let them recover a little bit. You see me, you know, and one of the things I've observed since you've become the head coach, that, I mean, uh, maybe I've got this wrong, but you, you you appear to really simplify it, that you've got that, that you've got real fundamentals there and you don't overcomplicate things. Is that is that accurate? Uh, yeah, that's always the challenge with the coach. You know, we, we always, uh, the players, especially these days, you know, they, they want real clarity around what, what they're supposed to do so they can go out and express themselves. So we're always trying to keep keep things simple, but I've sort of got a bit of a philosophy that, you know, you want to have some fun and some surprise elements in your game. So we want to come up with a little bit of special plays and that sort of thing. But it's 100% getting the balance that boys feel really clear so they can go out and just just play and do whatever comes naturally, but um, yeah, we definitely want to. We're not going to sit on our sit on our haunches and, and do the same thing every week. So we definitely want to have a few surprises for the opposition week to week. What What about the changes to the game in terms of the speeding up to it that, that you noticed that you thought, oh, that's made it different? Was there anything of those that uh, that uh, specifically you did? Yeah, I love it. It's been one of the bugbears for me over the last couple of years, and obviously. We want to play a high tempo game. It's been really frustrating for me over the last couple of years seeing how teams slow the game down. Um, so I'm really positive around the changes they've made, especially around trying to play on around minor injuries, around the speed between set pieces and getting that going and kicks and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, it's kind of with boys definitely found it quick in the weekend. Um, maybe the heat sort of accentuated that, but. Uh, yeah, mate, I think it's it's going to be good for the game and it's going to, you know, with that extra tempo, I think more and more opportunities in attack will open up as things get tried. So um, definitely a good thing for the game and a good thing for the people who want to come and watch the footy. Cracking first round, mate. Can I say that? I don't know how many games you actually you, you know, got to watch or you've watched since, but it was just a cracking first round from the Chiefs with a 24 blank second half against the Crusaders. Uh, MP against the Andrew was brilliant. Watching the Canes win was... I just thought it was a really good, really exciting first round of footy. Yeah, I reckon too. And, um, yeah, I think yeah, a lot of the teams have got a good attitude to the way they want to play in most teams. So... You know, hopefully the rules have had a little bit to do with that and that, that, that it's been good to watch. And um, the other part about it is how competitive it is. You know, there's there's nothing, you know, it's nothing soft in this, uh, in this tournament, I reckon, around if you're off your game, you, you'll get you'll get stung. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, you know, the, I think the public and, and the rest of us should be pretty excited about what's to come in the, in the following, in the coming months. Yeah, brilliant first round. All, all the very best for the Rebels, obviously. Um, take care of business this weekend, and then we look forward to catching up at some stage in the next couple of weeks when you come home. Thanks so much, mate. Beautiful, man. Thanks, mate.